Your teachers and lecturers are trying to make you think that perfect grades matter, but this year they actually don't. And in only a few minutes, I'll explain why. Keep going. Students now realize getting perfect grades in high school or college, it's not the end, right? Education is a lifelong journey that doesn't only happen in a classroom. In a recent American survey, 73% of young adults viewed themselves as lifelong learners. They also saw online self-education as equal or superior to traditional teaching methods. So resources such as podcasts, books, YouTube videos, or courses are great ways to continue your personal development and growth outside school. And if you don't want to fall behind and lose career opportunities, taking the time to self-educate is an absolute necessity. All the top colleges and jobs will have multiple people applying who have perfect grades, but it's the candidates who have good grades and other additional skills who will stand out. Unfortunately, school limits your learning to the subjects provided and your teacher's quality. However, you can now access thousands of courses in multiple areas with the internet. Whatever skills you need, there's a course or someone capable who can teach you. And I understand that self-education may seem daunting if you don't know what skills to learn or who to trust, but this is the process I follow to figure out what to focus on. So first, write down what goal you would like to achieve. Then you ask yourself if there's anyone you know who has achieved this goal or knows more about this topic than the average person. And if you can't think of anyone, search online for YouTubers discussing this topic. Then see if they recommended any books, any websites, courses, or resources that have helped them with improving this skill. And usually they have quite a few, which you can now go through. And I recommend dedicating a few hours each week to go through these resources and kind of develop yourself further and learn new skills alongside your grades and by taking charge of your education you set yourself up for a lifetime of growth. Self-education has allowed me to grow from a supermarket employee stacking shelves to a YouTuber running multiple businesses but if grades aren't the main thing what should you focus on to strengthen your college or job application? Skills over grades. Top companies like Google, like Apple, and even financial institutions like Bank of America have made massive controversial moves. They no longer require all their employees to have college degrees. Instead, they prefer candidates who have experience or have shown genuine interest through self-education or personal projects or internships or going to industry events. It's kind of crazy to think that even if you get the best grades, they may not be enough for your dream school or your dream job. Now, don't get me wrong, grades will still show your hard work, right? But recruiters will be even more impressed by someone who shows they applied their hard work to real world projects and challenges and this is why I recommend looking for internships or projects or any kind of practical work that will expose you to the actual work that you'll be doing. It's an even bigger bonus if you take part in activities that will develop your soft skills like teamwork, like communication or problem solving. And this year, there are more industries where a strong portfolio and experience will outshine another applicant, even if they have perfect grades. I've hired dozens of employees over the last couple of years, and it's always the applications where they can kind of show real life tangible projects, even just kind of like a basic website, but they can show me a website that they've designed and built themselves. And I can see, okay, you've spent your free time actually being proactive and building something. It's exactly how I started my YouTube channel. I was a student at university and on an evening I would edit YouTube videos, I would upload them. And at first no one watched them, right? But after three Three months of uploading videos, they started to gain traction and now I'm running multiple businesses, I work from home and when I do leave the apartment, I usually go downstairs to one of the many coffee shops and that's where I spend my day. I tend to keep all my tech like my charges, hard drives and mouse in Belroy's tech kit compact so when I get to a coffee shop, I get to the office to work, I just take out my laptop from my bag, I take out the tech kit and I'm ready to start work because everything I need is in my tech kit. It also means that I'm not going to forget anything at home like my mouse or charger because I store everything I need to bring in my tech kit. So firstly, before I say anything else, 
Everything made by Bellroy is built like a tank and they're all built to last a long time. And sometimes when I go to work or even just when I pop out to walk my dog, I don't want to carry a big pack pack with me. So Bellroy Sling Mini is a much better option. So when I received this a few weeks ago, it was the first time that I've ever worn a sling. But honestly, I'm a sling convert now. I absolutely love them. They're so practical. I don't have to have my pocket stuffed with things because I can put everything in the sling. It will carry my phone, wallet, AirPods, keys, an external hard drive because my phone battery is not what it once was. And I have some dog bags and torchlight for when I'm walking the dog and it can fit so much more. I really do recommend you check Bolroy out. They have backpacks, slings, duffel bags, toiletries kits, wallets, even phone cases. And all these products I mentioned are backed by Bellroy's three year warranty. So you know you're getting super well made stuff. I'll drop a link in the description below for you to check them out. And now back to the video. The best learning method. You see, most schools do not prepare you for what will come next. The world has changed a lot, especially after everyone got a taste of remote work and online self-education after lockdown. And working from home or anywhere really means you've got to be focused without someone looking over your shoulder. No teachers, no bells, just you and the project at hand. And if you can't manage your time or stay disciplined, it's going to be tough to keep up later in life. And this is why project-based learning that you do on your own time will teach you the techniques technical and mental skills to thrive after you graduate. So imagine this, instead of sitting in a classroom learning about how to code, you spend that week actually building a website. Project-based learning allows you to tackle real problems, create something that you can then show off on your resume and pick up skills that stick because you're actually using them. And this kind of learning is way more than just a good grade on paper. It's proof that you can do the work, that you can think on your feet and you can deliver results. And guess what? That's exactly what's gonna set you apart when you're looking for a job or trying to impress a college. And let's be real, it's way more fun to create something you're proud of than just studying for a test, right? And when you're done, you've got something cool to add to your portfolio, which is like gold when you're job hunting. So if you're ready to get a real head start this year, pick a project that gets you fired up and dive in, whether it's coding, whether it's writing, designing, starting a business, creating a website, creating a YouTube video. It really doesn't matter, just make it happen. And that's how you'll show the world and yourself what you're really capable of. But there's one thing that's more important than getting the perfect grades, and that is balance is key. You see, chasing those perfect grades can be like running on a treadmill that never stops. Sure, it's great to aim high, but not if it means sacrificing your peace of mind. We're at our best when we're happy and not weighed down by stress. And you're not alone in feeling this pressure. It's like there's this huge wave of awareness about mental health right now, which is amazing, but we've still got a long way to go, especially in school. So I've seen this happen. A lot of top students, maybe you know some, they kind of tie their whole identity to their grades. And it's like, if they're not acing every test, they're failing in life. But that's just not true. Life's about more than just grades. It's about learning from every experience, even the ones that don't go as planned. And by only focusing on getting those perfect scores, those perfect grades, you're missing out on the real lessons. And trust me, every mistake, every stumble is getting you closer to where you want to be. So what should you do? Well, for starters, try out some stress management techniques, meditation, journaling, or just kind of taking a walk can help clear your head. And don't forget to talk to people who get it, friends, family, anyone who's kind of in your corner. And by keeping your mental health in check, you won't just do it better in school, but also it will kind of set yourself up for a happier, more productive life after graduation. And this is such a blessing that not everyone has. In fact, lockdown was a period where a lot of students suffered because school never taught us how to cope or handle our stress or our emotions, but this wasn't the only thing we didn't learn. You're not ready. Now for this point, I wanna kind of pivot to something that is kind of really reshaping our world, and that is remote work. Since the lockdown, there's been a massive shift to working from home, and it's not just a temporary thing, it's the new reality for many of us. The thing is, the way we're used to working at school with all the kind of structure and guidance isn't quite prepping us for this new world of work. So when you're remote, there's no teacher to keep you on track. There's no bell to signal the end of class. It's all on you. And that's a whole 
different skill set. So you might be thinking, I've got this, I do my homework, I meet deadlines, but managing your own schedule day in and day out without the school routine, that is where real self-discipline and time management come into play. So next time, instead of relying on your teachers or timetable to dictate your day, you can add in certain activities that can be done outside of school time. And this may be spending an hour in the morning working on that project or self-studying a course or a book. And over time, you'll kind of develop this self-discipline and time management skills that will allow you to output high quality work within any deadline set. If you want to learn how I manage to get top grades with only a few hours of work each week, check out my Straight A's Simplified course, link in the description below. And I made a video not too long ago and I called How I Graduated University in the Top 1% by Studying Smarter Not Harder. You can click on the card right here to watch that. And do check out this video sponsor, Bellroy, link in the description also below.